About 26 million years ago, Zealandia, the ancient continent of New Zealand, stretched and thinned by tectonic forces, had almost disappeared beneath the waves. What saved it from disappearing altogether was the renewed vigour of the collision between the Australian plate and the Pacific plate, which pushed the land out of the sea again. As the Pacific plate was forced under the north of New Zealand, a belt of volcanoes erupted in what is now Northland, moving southwards over millions of years towards the Coromandel. Off the west coast of Auckland, the huge Waitakere volcano rose from the sea floor, its summit emerging out of the waves. Further south, the South Island was a subdued landscape, largely free of mountains and volcanoes. But this too was about to change dramatically. 13 million years ago, a hotspot plume broke through the Pacific Plate, erupting where Dunedin is now. The first eruption centred on Port Chalmers, forming the lofty hills around Dunedin and Otago Peninsula. Then a string of smaller volcanoes emerged as far inland as Ranfur. Ten million years ago it was Christchurch's turn. A hotspot created three massive overlapping shield volcanoes, Banks Peninsula. Four million years later the action had shifted further east, as yet another hotspot brought the Chatham Islands up out of the sea in a series of blasts over four million years. Meanwhile, in the North Island, volcanic activity had been moving south and east as the Pacific Plate began to dip down more steeply under the Australian. One result was the creation of the most active and violent volcano in New Zealand, Taupo. And further north, where it all began, 250,000 years ago, Auckland began to blow again, driven by another hotspot under the Australian Plate.